In this short video I'm going to show you four different ways that you can access Actifio documentation and I'm also going to show you some of the newer documents that you may not be aware of. So first up I've pointed my web browser to docs.actifio.com, that's simply docs.actifio.com. You may not know about this page but this page is on the internet so you can access all of these Actifio documents from your web browser without a user ID or password or any form of logon. So this is all publicly available. Now the version 7.0 was the default library but if you hit this button here it will open up the version 7.1 library. The really neat trick up in the top right is there's a Google custom search. So if I show you what that panel looks like you can basically go here and type in a search argument, a Google-like search argument, and what you'll get in your results is a search of those public docs. So in other words you can do Google searches of Actifio documents. So that's method number one to get to your Actifio docs. Now up here you'll also know there's a link for Actifio Now. Now I've already got Actifio Now open. If I pop this open I've already gone to the Learn tab in Actifio Now and if you notice here is a product docs. So if I hit product docs what we get is a slightly bigger set of uh, bigger library than you saw in the public version because here I've got the 7.0 and the 7.1 with some more books but I've also got some older code levels like 6.2 and 6.1 and 6.0. I've also got AGM, I've also got Report Manager, Resiliency Director and the vSphere plugin. Now one of the things I wanted to point out is if I just show you the 6.0 library you can see eh, there's a few books there but if I go to the 7.1 library there's significantly more books. Now what we've done is we've created documentation that is specific to the job role of the person looking at it or specific to the task that you're doing. This is really useful because it saves you having to plow through documents that you're not interested in. So if you're configuring on Vault, then depending on which target you're using, which object target you're using, use the book that's relevant to that target. More importantly, if you're a VMware admin, there's a VMware vCenter Administrator Guide for you, written specifically for you. If you're an Oracle DBA, there's an Oracle DBA guide written specifically for you. A Microsoft SQL DBA guide, again, written specifically for you. Uh, equally, if you are a network administrator or a security administrator, we've also got books for you. So here, for instance, is the Network Administrator Guide to Active Field Copy Data Management. So what this means is that you get specific documents for specific job roles or specific tasks. It makes your life a lot easier. Now as I said I was going to show you four ways to get to your documentation. So docs.actifio.com is your first way. Actifio now is your second way. The Actifio Resource Center is accessed by pointing your web browser at the IP address of your Actifio appliance. And on this page you'll note that there's a download zipped Actifio documentation library. So this is coming directly from your appliance to your laptop. Or, you know, or your, your, your workstation. Uh, the fourth way is if I open up the Actifio desktop itself, in the bottom right hand corner, and I'll just drag this up a bit, in the bottom right hand corner you can see a book icon. Now this is a really neat trick. If I hit this book icon, what happens is when it opens up, it's actually pointing to a set of local files on my laptop, but it's again the documentation library. So same set of documentation, we cross links again back to Actifio Now. So that's four ways. Public, Actifio Now, Actifio Recenter, Resource Center, or the documentation library accessed through your Actifio desktop via the book icon. Hopefully that was useful to you. Thanks for listening.